The project is called um, The Physicality of Drawing and um, I just wanted to just say how it is really, trying to investigate the physicality of what mark making and drawing can be and uh, the physicality of our body in the process of drawing. But it's completely improvised in, in terms of a physicality um, but in approach it can differ from day to day or from week to week depending on how long the project is. Um, so, as I say, the physical side of it is always in that moment, but the things I want to investigate or aspects I would like to investigate that day always differs. So you know, that, and that then alters the physicality always. Yeah, I, I, I feel like my my practice uh, for me it exposes the limitations of, of my body independently and um, but if someone else, if someone else was to take it upon them it, it would expose different limitations of their body um, which is why I think the exhibition uh, will work uh, in quite a positive environment because it allows people to come in and investigate what they have to offer to mark making and physical mark making um, but the work I can identify when when the, a, a joint limb muscle body part has been documented because I can remember the sensation you can look at the mark and remember where your hand or leg was or what you were thinking about at that time I think it's a huge psychological thing to be able to just get into your own kind of mind and think I'm not performing I'm just working and uh, that's the job I have to do um, so the hardest thing of preparing is trying to get that that aspect into, into your head to think to release the pressure off yourself a bit um, well it's the first time I've um, opened and open the practice up so other people can come into the same space and, and um, mark make with me. Um, originally I wanted the observer to maybe start to uh, document what I was doing or uh, try and add to the concept but actually when I let go of that idea it's I just hope it's a space where people can come in and just draw and have no obligations or boundaries and just enjoy the fact that I'm in the space there working on my own uh, projects and research and they can be as well, even if it's for 10 minutes or an hour. Like it's just trying to create an interactive drawing zone. I, I just hope as a, as a practitioner to investigate what drawing and movement mean to me. Um, I, I feel these two mediums have a, a complex conversation. They have a lot to speak to each other about. Um, and so I just really want to dissect this and, and understand why I find it more comfortable to move with drawing mediums in my hand and um, I used to be obsessed with trying to trace the body or trying to find an objective out of the work um, but actually if, if the if the objective is just to try and understand why you're doing what you're doing then I think that's what I'm trying to do um, just to get to the bottom of why I've feel this is a necessary medium to, or a necessary concept to, to engage with. I'm currently interested in making a, a long durational installation, um, maybe 48 hours to maybe three or four days. Um, and the same artists, dancers, um, whoever I decide to work with um, will be in the same space for that amount of time and I would have 
kind of put my approaches to drawing and movement onto them to then investigate for themselves and for them to come out with something completely different. Um, just like this research laboratory space. Um, and I'd like to stream it online so people can tune in at maybe three o'clock in the morning and just see artists you know, at work, drawing, moving, speaking about the concepts. I hope that's where it goes.